Aha, it was a setup. I don't know who caught on to it. If anybody caught on to it, probably nobody. It was not obvious. But Storage City was all an elaborate setup on my part. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing swell. That's right. I saw the request for the return of that intro, and and I did it. I have to please the people. <laughs> so uh, today we are going to go ahead and work on this little project down here. You may or may not remember. Finally, uh, it's been long enough. I'd like to get working on some end-related farms, some end things like inside of the end and that means we need our road finished to go over to the end now the setup what was i talking about well of course storage city last episode we built storage city for extra storage of bulk things like stone and, and cobblestone and maybe dirt uh not the nasty stuff but you know extra storage and yep yeah, uh because today i am hoping big fingers crossed to to get all of this thing done uh we have to dig all the way over to the stronghold it's, it's a pretty far dig but i don't think it'll be that bad now i i think we are going to definitely want to okay Aha! Uh -huh. I just don't know. Uh, this is our sixth death now. Three of my six deaths have come from the elytra. Very nice. Um, <laughs> I was going to say that I think we want to bring our fortune pick over there too for the project today, as well as our silk one. I'd like to restock our smooth stone. Uh, but the fortune pick will be for any and all ores. Um, but I don't need to restock any cobblestone. We're completely full. I moved uh, some of the stuff from the mines uh, up to the surface. We have one other big thing that I should talk about in this project. And that is, of course, the beacon. The, the great beacon. I, I just don't know if we can actually utilize the beacon on this project, unfortunately. I, I, I'm so unsure about this, but... Uh, we are currently right here on the map, and we are heading over to the stronghold. So that means we are going uh, in a diagonal line over, and then eventually straight down. I should probably bring this with me, actually. And, uh, yeah, that means that it's all water, and beacons need access to the sky to actually work, you know? So, I don't know if... I could actually utilize the beacon. I would have to either go up on the ocean top and set the beacon up and then move it every once in a while, or I would have to make holes from our tunnel all the way up to uh, at least the surface of the ocean, put glass, and I just don't know if that's really worth it. So, uh, I think we're going to have to pass on the beacon, unfortunately. Now, fortunately, this is an efficiency 4 pickaxe, and this one is an efficiency 5 one, and we have our skeleton farm right behind this wall. So, I can easily run over to it and start mending things up whenever I need to. Now, how am I going to get this thing done? I, I really don't know. I... I don't even know if I'm going to finish the project today, in all honesty. I just know I'd like to move along on it. Uh, I don't know how much this is going to take in terms of digging time. So, <laughs> uh, we might do it all. Maybe I'll just do like the middle diagonal. I don't know really yet. Um, I think we're clearing out these edge ones too because I want to do... A wall design uh, so we're kind of clearing out the actual moving area and the wall space right I I think I think a boat can fit through there kind of boat and I heard a drown I heard a drown we are right by the ocean so we're gonna hear a lot of that today but can a boat fit through oh no a boat can't fit through okay so looks like I'm clearing out ah man I don't like that uh, it looks like I'm clearing out all of this for the road? Hmm, that's too bad. Um, it's because we're going on a diagonal. Uh, okay, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Now, yes, I could absolutely be creating one of these tunnels in the nether, and in fact, I I honestly recommend doing that. The nether travel is much, much faster, and it requires much, 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 much less work but it also requires going into a portal that goes to a scary dimension, and I don't know. I, I prefer to use the overworld as a transportation method 
if I can. So if something is at least mildly close, then I tend to actually just make roads there. And that is exactly what we're trying to do with this thing here. Now, will we hook the stronghold up in the nether as well? Probably. That would definitely be a good idea in case I decide to do some sort of crazy nether hub and nether transportation system but at this point in time i don't know if i will really be doing that so an overworld transportation system like this i mean it's not gonna hurt not at all uh it'll only take a long long time that's okay and you know what's good for these types of long projects? Well, little time lapses. So I think what we're going to do today is another one of those fun Q&A time lapses where I answer your questions that are sent to me over on my Twitter. Now, what's my Twitter? Well, the Twitter is at it is waddles. If you haven't been around for one of these things before, this is how they work. I tweet out a tweet while I'm making the episode, and then while I'm editing, I go ahead and answer those questions. Any and all questions are game. So, I mean, if you're learning about this now for the first time, you're probably not in this one, but head over to the Twitter for future ones of these, and it's time for me to stop rambling and start answering. That sounds cooler than it actually is. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go and, and ramble and answer and stuff, the plan here, if I find a cave, is to leave it open and light it up just a little bit. I will come back and mine out any and all caves that I actually end up hitting uh, at a future time. But, uh, anyways, ramble, answer, answer, ramble. Oh, man. Hello, everybody. It's me from the future <laughs> it's time for the q a uh first and foremost thank you everybody for the questions as of the time of recording this there are 73 questions or 73 replies so yep thank you everybody uh, whether you get in or not question number one is from none other than whoop diddy scoop the question is do i have a drink of choice when i am making these episodes and uh do i drink g fuel so drink of choice usually water or coffee honestly and do i drink g fuel no but i i've been meaning to i really want to order the watermelon flavor watermelon sounds really really good to me mr rambles asks do you voice over or talk while you record and usually i am talking while i am recording right now i'm doing a voiceover but usually talk and record loot asks waddles hit the woe and all right <laughs> if you insist i hope that was good enough for you i've been practicing stefan asks can you give three general youtube tips for growing a channel and sure the three basic tips i'll boil them down as simple as possible tip one consistency make a schedule keep posting tip number two quality try to keep improving your videos and tip number three have fun make the content that you enjoy making don't force it just relax have fun maya asks cats or dogs and you know i am probably a dog person i grew up with a cat and i love cats cats are amazing but i've been around dogs more recently and i love it i love how dogs just they just want your attention they want to make you happy and you know i need a dog myself <laughs> i i really i've said it before i i need a dog i, I really need one little uzi vertical himself asks me what is your favorite uzi song and you know i don't know if i'm basic or not but 20 minutes is pretty good puffy vessel asks what is your favorite update that's a tough question but honestly i i really like the village and pillage update i i mean i'm kind of biased because it's new right now but the villager revamps the whole crafting stuff the items and things that were actually added like pandas uh, everything's just so cool the update aquatic is probably a close second that was another amazing update ray d asks any thoughts on doing a cobblestone generator for the guide world and you know that's not a bad idea the only reason i haven't done one up to this point is because i i just have so much cobblestone and i haven't needed to to make one yet but i'm sure i could work that into the world into some sort of factory or something that could be really cool colby c ground crazy may and a few others asked waddles merch and uh, i've got a reply with waddles merch very soon very very soon announcement coming on twitter soon 
Wait, he told me not to say that. <laughs> Leg Connoisseur asks, uh, is Minecraft tax evasion a thing? Because if it is, I'm in a whole lot of trouble and my guy, I might be in trouble too. I'll have to count my emeralds and possibly pay up if it is a thing. Harambe's stepsister asks, what's the coolest part about being a content creator? And honestly, it, it's the interaction. I love interacting with you guys, reading the comments, seeing what you guys are saying to me on Twitter, looking at the memes you guys send me, uh, both on Instagram and on, on Twitter. It's just amazing. Everything all about it. But really, the interaction, I, I love it. Ooh, ooh, uh, demon emoji smiling asks, Everyone talks about a face reveal, but what about an eye reveal? I reveal at 200k and you just might be onto something. Hmm. A few more questions here. Promethabine asks, what is your favorite song off of Yeezus? And it's, I don't know, it's got to be on site or hold my liquor, maybe. By the way, that's a weird name. I hope I didn't say something weird. <laughs> Jolly Sly PNG asks, have I ever been to an Asian country? If so, yes, and where? And no, I actually haven't, but I would love to go to either South Korea or Japan one day. I think those countries are amazingly interesting in terms of the culture and, and the history. So those would be my top two. Probably Japan first. And rounding this out, last but not least, we have a question from Cynic Sin asking me to rate her cat. Uh, I'm assuming a, a scale of 1 to 10, and the cat has definitely got to be a 10.3 because it looks furry and I, I wish I had a, a dog. Cats are cool too. <laughs> <laughs> but that just about wraps up our Q&A time lapse. I extended it because of the amount of amazing high quality questions. Thank you guys for all of your questions and keep your eyes out for another one soon. I, I really love doing these things. But with that, let's dive back into today's project. Okay, so we are making quite a bit of progress on this tunnel here. It's not done yet. It, I, I don't think it's quite done, but it's time to take a break and go up to the surface for a little bit of research. Now, I need this tunnel to hit right on the stronghold. I don't want to do more work than I have to. That means we need to go over to the stronghold and get the coordinates of this thing so I know really when I need to turn my tunnel I don't think we're on a clean diagonal and also yeah just so I don't go farther than I have to in my gosh this warm ocean is seriously just beautiful <laughs> there is no other word for it but here we are at the stronghold it is seriously not that far it's out of render distance uh, of my town but the pole is the stronghold or approximately so uh, what do we have over here we have negative 1985 141. There's no way in the world I'm going to remember that. Let's go ahead and write that down. And then screenshot for good measure. Now we need to go all the way back over and get back down into the tunnel and take a look at what we have. And you see, I like flying with my elytra out over the open ocean because, well, there's nothing to hit. I, I can't crash land on the ground and die. I can't hit like a building or a tree or a wall. So... I mean, I don't know. If you ask me, we, we picked the perfect place to live, and I should probably make some kind of racetrack uh, above the ocean for the elytra, shouldn't I? I need some practice. That might be a good idea, actually. Okay, so now we're back in the tunnel, and we need to go all the way to the end of this thing and see what I am at. Okay, so here we are. Now, big moment of truth. We have uh, a little bit more to go. Actually, I thought this would be farther. Okay, not bad. So it looks like I need to get over to negative 1985. So 300 more blocks. And then I need to turn whenever that will be. I think we are, yeah, we're going down. Our Z coordinate is going down as we move. So my bet is, is that we actually might be pretty close on our diagonal. Uh, that'll be really nice, but... Yep, about 300 more blocks, which sounds like a lot, uh, but it's honestly probably just a little bit more than what I have done here. We're probably just about, oh, halfway done with the project. And what is, oh boy, it's another water cave. I found one of these before and it's kind of annoying. You, you have to fill in this whole thing because 
we don't have any sponges, but it's not the worst. It, it's really not that bad. And when I find a water cave, I actually switch the walls over to stone brick, so I know uh, that there's something different here, and I could come back and do like a glass window if I wanted to. No less than an hour and a half later, and we have finally, finally, finally hit the stronghold. So, now um, we need to figure out where we are in the stronghold and where the the end portal could be. I, I don't remember my way around this thing, if I'm being honest. I, I have no clue. Hopefully, we're close to the to the portal. Oh, here's the library uh, <laughs> that I need to come back to and fix, but where could the... Is this the portal room? Aha, it is, and the silver fish are alive now. Oh, no, there was a bug, and they weren't spawning before, and oh, boy. But we've made it, so the big part of the project is done. So to get to the portal room, I guess we would just go... I guess pretty much straight from here. We might as well probably continue this hallway actually because i think we could cut right through this fort and get even closer to the portal room which would be amazing so i, I think i have a little bit more digging oh no <laughs> it's okay though uh, i can do it I, I believe in myself and then we have to talk about the next phase of the project which probably won't be finished completely today but i i don't know <laughs> uh, i don't know Yeah, I don't think there's any way that I finished the project today. <laughs> I'm running back right now, and this is a long, long hallway. In total, this probably took me two and a half hours to, to mine out, which is quite some time. So the next step of this project, the next big phase, is making the hallway look pretty and getting the functional part in. The functional part means ice road. The pretty part means... Probably a lot of end stone. I'm, I'm not sure on the design that I want to go with for sure yet, but I think I need to incorporate the end blocks somehow, and I, I, I'm starting to think that this is going to be more of a long-term project. Now that the whole hallway is in, the second most important thing is actually being able to use it, being able to throw a boat in this road and zoom all the way over to the stronghold so we can go into it and get whatever we need really, really quickly. Now, we would be doing blue ice, but I simply don't have a whole lot of it right now, and I, I honestly don't know if we need blue ice in this whole hallway. My idea here is uh, to try and do just a single diagonal of, of ice so we can conserve materials. This is a really long road, and hopefully, uh, yes, it looks like we'll be able to use the boat on just the middle, and we should be able to zoom. But that means that we're going to have these weird spots in here. I don't think we can place normal blocks inside of these these ones uh, because I think that will slow us down. If, if we're using our boat and we keep hitting like wool, are we gonna? Yeah, we're we're being kept slow, and we don't want to be kept slow. So that means if we do a single diagonal of ice down the middle of this hallway, and then we did like slabs in these low spots next to it, or even staircases. Hmm, so maybe something like this, like if we had a zigzag of stairs on either side, I don't think our boat would be affected by these. Uh, we'll try it out, but it should work. All right, so there's that. Now, does the boat? Aha, uh -huh, I don't think it does, but the perspective is going to be, is that? All right, so it kind of hits the stairs. Hmm, the stairs might be a no-go. Uh, I, I think we're hitting the stairs every time... Ah, we hit these. Oh, no. You see, I think we're hitting the stairs when we hit these corners. So, yep. Stairs are probably out. Uh, that means slabs. We could do slabs in here. That would be fine. And, and it would work. But that means we would have to do even more uh, detailing. Like, we'd have to go a whole extra block down on the sides. Which I guess is fine. Uh, <laughs> it just makes the project a lot more intensive in terms of digging because, yeah, a whole extra block that needs to come out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh -huh. Here's our test here. Uh, do the stairs actually slow us down or is it just a perspective thing? Oh, they slow us down for sure. 
we would have to really, really focus on staying in these middle blocks, and I don't like that. I'd like to be able to kind of zone out and do this. So stairs, absolute no-go, unfortunately, and we'll do slabs uh, along the whole floor in here. Now, the walls, what am I going to do there? Ooh, that's, that's a tough question. I'm thinking probably actually something with uh, normal endstone though because we're gonna have a lot of endstone bricks on the floor i don't believe there is an endstone slab yep no endstone slab so probably something with with the unbricked endstone and a little bit of bricks as well probably from time to time now i'm kind of tempted to leave some of the stone in here and make it look like a like a cave partially but i don't know about that at the same time I know that doing all endstone would be way too much, so that is a, a definite no-go. We could do something like sand in here. Sand would work well, too, because the colors match, but that would be expensive in terms of sand. We're trying to consider the cost here. Uh, we could do purper, but that would also be expensive. We need a... Well, you know, purper might not be a bad idea. We would just need to get a chorus farm. Uh, but that's not that hard. Hmm. <laughs> Jumping back and forth thinking. Um, yeah, you know, I think I like maybe the purper idea. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and go over to the end right now and grab some materials and uh, get this room in a little bit. We can at least do the room today. Uh, but purper is not a bad idea. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this build. So, I brought my building materials down here, and I brought uh, an under chest as well. I think there should be an under chest in this, this room. Now, I think I'd love to use some, some blue terracotta, actually, on the build. I don't know how much, but the stuff looks really, really cool, in my opinion, and I love the purple look to it. So, maybe, like, a blue terracotta stripe going around some sort of edge or something. And we could break that terracotta stripe up from time to time with, I think, a little bit of endstone bricks. Endstone bricks would look really good here. Um, maybe the stripe goes in the dead center of the wall, so we have a four-high wall. I think the floor should probably be spruce wood. Spruce wood looks really, really good with endstone and... Uh, it goes okay with the purple blocks, I think. I was thinking about birch wood, but birch wood is way too close in, in tone to the end stone, so I don't think that'll work. So, uh, something like that so far. Those are our blocks. Then we need something else on the wall. We could just do plain old endstone on the wall and then do purple stripe and more endstone on the top. That might be the best way to do it without introducing way too many colors for the build. Um... I don't know. Let's give it a shot. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. So three wide section beam three. Oh, <laughs> three wide section beam. And then we'll do uh, the corner right here. Now, I'd also like to add a secret crawl through way into the, the skeleton farm. I think not not an intentional one, but just a shortcut in case I'm ever down here working again, which I will be. And I need to go and mend up my tools. The nicest thing in the world while working on this project was being able to simply pull out the wall really quick, run into that room, stand and mend my tools up, and then go right back to the project. It, having something like that nice and close makes things a whole lot more enjoyable. Hmm, so how could we do this? We could do our corner beam and... Oh gosh, how do I want to... Hmm... This is what we could do. Maybe. Big maybe. I'm not sure. We'll place a trap door like that, right? Then we can open it. We could dig this out. We could crawl through over to this side and then drop down into the room like that. Then we could place another trap door up here. And how do I get back into it? I don't know. Um, would putting ladders going up the corner of the room ruin it? Uh, let's find out. Um, ladders go up. And then, um, can we, we can't even get in there. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe that's fine. It, it does kind of ruin it, though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it's fine. And I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like the secret little connection idea. That's pretty cool. It, it's definitely obvious. It's not like hidden or anything, but not bad. Not bad if I say so myself. 
And, you know, this ladder, I think we can just chop this one out. And, you know, I should have taken the ladders from there. <laughs> that ladder was the old uh, access route to get down here, but we don't use that anymore. We have our bubble columns. So it's been long overdue that I just ripped that thing out. I have a bad habit of sort of leaving things around in my world's uh, and then never coming back and removing them and then they're there forever even though I don't need them there or just leaving building materials everywhere yeah um, maybe you noticed that in the world download I, I think I cleaned it up though so maybe you didn't maybe I was really good and I just exposed myself right now uh, whoops <laughs> you didn't hear a thing And with just a little bit of work, here we go. Boom. Done. Good. Awesome. All right, actually. It's all right. I, I really would love to incorporate some purple into this build somehow because I am heavily considering, you know, doing it in the hallway, so that could be cool to see, but I don't really have a way to get a lot of it quite yet, so it sounds like I need a purple farm and maybe that will be a project that we take on very very soon but for now i i think we're good we should be all right in terms of spawns maybe we could do well definitely we could do some kind of carpet in this room to to prevent the spawns even more we'll put jack-o-lanterns underneath it too i'll go do that uh, right after i finish recording but i think we're good so let's go ahead and move on to the final part of today's episode the final part of every single episode and that is of course the special dedication thank you very much noah for your support i appreciate it greatly and the one and only comment of the day today's comment of the day is from bryson p the comment do you plan on giving a trident tutorial or something anytime soon and you know as soon as i saw this this comment i realized uh, that I was forgetting something. That thing that I was forgetting? Uh, the trident, of course. We we found a trident a while back. Actually, the same episode that we found the stronghold, I think it was. And yeah, it's been in, uh, in a box collecting dust, and that's no good. I should definitely get on a trident tutorial soon. I uh, completely forgot about that. We need some mending, though, for it. So maybe that means it's time for me to do a little bit more AFK fishing in between episodes just to see if we can get lucky and get a single mending book. So uh, I, I think that'll be the plan. Not 100% sure, but that is just about it for everything that I need to say. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I am going to do the jack-o'-lantern lighting thing right now before I forget. And I'll see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everyone.